These are my favorite Karens getting owned moments of all time, so let's begin. Okay, so this Karen was actually caught using a stolen credit card to try to purchase some items. She was stopped in her tracks when she was caught and exposed for this, and she tried to make a quick getaway out of the store. That's when the security decided to stop her in her tracks and locked the doors, preventing her from leaving until the authorities showed up and arrested her. Let's have a look. Yo, please get me out of here, y'all, please! Hurry up and get me out of here, please! Yes! Yes, they said the card is fake. And they got my ID and everything. He's, he's serious, he said that card is fake. He took my ID! Yes! Police want to get you out of here, of course. Uh, Why do you think that's why? Please get me out of here! I I'm in PC Richards by the door. They not even let me through. They got my passport and everything. Please get me out of here, please. Please hurry up and get me out of here. I'm not gonna touch you, sir. Please hurry up and get me out of here now. Please. Okay, so this gentleman came home to realize that somebody was literally in his house stealing his property. He confronted the thief who backpedaled and denied ever being in his home while literally standing in his home. And the reason being is apparently he lost his phone and thought that it might be in a complete random stranger's house. This thief refuses to admit that he is in somebody else's home and doesn't see any wrongdoing as the homeowner decides to confront him and call the authorities. This thief tries every excuse in the book to get away, but this homeowner stands his ground and makes sure that he doesn't go anywhere until the authorities show up. Let's have a look. What were you doing in my house? I was knocking on your door. I'm looking for my phone. Why is your phone in my house? Why is my phone in your house? Good question. Is it in your house? You're gonna have to explain that to the cops. I didn't take you. Did you grab my phone when I set it down when I was showing you this? I didn't touch your phone. Where's my phone? Did you take my phone? You're a horrible liar too, dude. Where's my phone? How'd you get in my house? I didn't touch your house or go in your house. I was knocking on the door. Well, we're going to stay separate until the police get here. So okay, we don't... that's so... fine, but where's my phone? I can't give it to you. It's my proof that you're in my house. I wasn't in your house. Well, somebody was. was right here. Somebody was in my house and my vacuum's missing. I didn't take your vacuum. Why would I take your, vac your vacuum, dude? I, I don't know. Why is your cell phone in my house? I don't know. Did you grab That's kind of creepy, bro. Do you remember? It's kind of Creepy. Go in your house, dude. Then why are you I'm so right. nervous? Why are you sweating so much? Because I'm, I've been looking for my phone for 40 no minutes. One's, no one sweats because they're looking for Give their phone. Give me my phone. You can't hold my property. Every case of this group of girls realized that somebody was taking their pictures only to have another bystander come up and confirm their suspicion. This bystander informed them that this random guy was literally taking their picture and just acting really creepy towards them. That's when these girls actually came up to this Karen and called him out for it and exposed him in front of this entire shopping mall. These girls didn't hold back at all though and made sure that he deleted the pictures and let everyone around them know exactly what he was doing. The only problem though was they forgot to get him to delete it from his bin folder. Regardless though, he was exposed and humiliated in front of everyone. Uh, we were just told that we, you were taking photos of us. Are you oh. with them? Is there any way that we could see your camera roll? No, that's okay. I, like, I was Can we see your camera roll if you weren't taking pictures of us? Can we just see your camera roll? Oh, no, can you just I, pull I, out your I, camera roll? I wasn't. No, don't worry about it. If you about want, it. then why I'll, can't I'll you pull out your camera roll? No, I'll, I'll get rid of it. So it's really weird to take pictures of females in public without their permission, okay. so you should never do that again. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if no, you're with your daughter or somebody related to you. I know. That's not okay. Just delete them. Yeah, I will. I'm asking you to delete them in front of me. I will. In front of me right now. You think I'm joking? Leave them in front of me the right now. Not I see working. you shake. I see the photos. No, I see them right there. No, I see the photos right there. Delete okay. them. Right. Delete them. Don't worry. You see that, guys? One. Delete. One, two, three, four, five. Now go in your go in your trash bin. No, that's my. Go son. in your trash bin. Anybody recognize this man? This is somebody no, no. Hey, hey. that takes pictures of females in public. No, don't worry. No, I'll and call he's you married. out. I'll and he's call married. you out. And he's weird. Okay. Don't ever Just delete do that them again. from your recently deleted. Don't ever do that again. Okay. 
Okay, so this lady was caught red-handed stealing somebody's pickup. This lady was confronted for it, and the thing was though, she could have got away had she figured out how to release the parking brake. This lady tried for minutes to release the parking brake and couldn't do it until a group of bystanders crowded her and forced her to get out of the pickup truck. That's when she left and tried blaming her stealing a car on somebody else and running away only for her to have to return later because she had forgotten her phone. The thing is though, the owner of the truck refused to give it back so let's have a look she tried to steal a truck at my work but could not figure out the parking brake what a fail knew it saw you over there She didn't know how to drive. <laughs> oh, I saw you. Oh, I see her over there. So you guys are the one that made it to my car. Okay, so this Karen was at a hairdresser's getting her hair done and basically she was criticizing the hairdresser a lot and started belittling her. Karen stated that she's paying them and they'll do as she says because she is the customer. And then the hairdresser calls out the Karen because the Karen started belittling the hairdresser's assistant. The hairdresser puts the Karen in her place when she tells her that she can pack up and go as she will no longer be doing her hair. And that's when this Karen quickly backpedals apologizing and pleading with her to do her hair. The hairdresser decided to give her another chance only for Karen to immediately continue to abuse the hairdressers and then get herself denied service. This Karen then snaps and tries to actually hit the hairdresser and is immediately removed from the premise with half her hair dyed a separate color. Let's have a look. <laughs> I'm not paying her. I'm paying her. Nope, but I pay her. But she does what I say. And you'll be fine. You want to leave? I will if you don't get my hair. You have half your color on. You want to talk to me like that? Yeah. Robin. Sure. Robin, she's my assistant. She does hair. I want you to do my hair. I'm Robin. Not tell you again. Robin, don't talk to me that way. I can't. You can go. No, you're not going to talk to me that way. Oh, my God. Robin, you don't want Robin, you're not going to talk to me disrespectfully. Well, then you don't either. I'm paying I'm you. I'm not going to talk to you disrespectfully. I'm not going to talk to you disrespectfully. Right. And just relax. Take it back. I will. Take a Robin, you can't talk to people like that and think that people are just gonna like do whatever you say. I came to get my hair. I know, and I am running a full blown business and I'm training oh, her. And she, on, wait, sure. wait, really? Honestly, Robin, if you don't want to gear me out and like get to the resolution of this, sure. I'm, my daughter, you, know, you know what? I have a lot of pressure too, Robin. We all have pressure. Let's just I end know. this. Here, Robin. Honestly, oh I appreciate you. God. Like, I'm wasting so much product, and like, I don't want you to waste your time, but that was a lot. Like, I'm gonna need you to go. Okay. Okay, so this male Karen was caught and exposed taking very creepy pictures of girls. That's when he took a picture of a girl and her boyfriend noticed and confronted him. This gentleman was not happy and got very confrontational, demanding to see his camera roll immediately. And that's when they confirmed that he was taking pictures of random girls and was forced to delete them. Let's have a look. Embarrass you. I want to embarrass you. Now go ahead and delete it. Delete it in front of me right now. Go ahead. Don't take my. I'll stay right here. Let's go and show me what you took a picture of. I want to see it. I want to see right now what you took a picture of. Come on. Come on. There you go. Look, pictures of my girlfriend, right there. Boom. Yeah. Okay. I'm not shaking your hand. Oh, no. you you're hanging out. Yeah. You're just hanging out. Oh. Yeah. He'll look. Still don't want to. Who the f We're f***ing adults here. Adults doing this? Are you kidding me? I should break this glass over your face right now.
Okay, so this customer was caught stealing and she was banned from the store. Now on her way out, she was humiliated and got really embarrassed because she walked back into the store and tried to turn it upside down by taking all of the items off the shelves and throwing them on the ground, breaking them and just trying to inconvenience the employees. That's when she realized she made a huge mistake though because when she walked back in and damaged all of the property, the steel bar doors were locked from the outside, meaning she could not leave the premise as the authorities had been called and were on on their way to have a look. Bye bye. <laughs> Show to see y'all again. Going to jail now. Ah, you'll get right when them laws come. <laughs> ah, you can't get that. You can't get that. Bye bye. Okay, so this Karen was taking her dog for a walk when her dog went to the toilet on the sidewalk. This Karen then refused to pick up the dog waste and continued on her journey, only to be caught out and exposed by another person. This lady decided to follow this Karen and expose her, which this Karen flat out denies doing, and even states that it's not her dog that she is currently walking, and tries to pretend like she doesn't know who the dog is, which is obviously a flat out lie, and you can easily tell that the dog that is walking with her is her dog, and she just didn't want to pick up its waist. Let's have a look. It's not my dog. It is your dog. I saw you walking him. No. no yes, I did. You. Can you? Are, you are lying. But you said that you were going to clean it up. No. You looked at me and you said, I'm no. going to clean it up. No, it's not true. You are lying. So why were you running away? I'm doing exercise. Away from me? No. But that's not how you do exercise. You're wearing flip-flops. Miss, what is a big deal to clean up after your dog? Even when I explained to you that children play their sport, you said, yes, you understand and you will clean it up. And now you're running away. Why is it so hard to clean up your dog? You had a plastic bag in your hand. Huh? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. These pictures and this video is going to the Toronto community. Everybody's gonna see what you did. They have inspectors, they come in all the time. Instead of doing the right thing, going back there and picking up. Okay, so these girls were at the pool and they noticed that this creepy old man behind them was taking pictures of them. That's when they decided to confront him and exposed him in front of everybody as he pleaded with them to keep their voices down and he would do as he's told. That's when this male Karen had went through his camera roll and was exposed for taking pictures of them as there were several of them in his camera roll. This creep was made to delete the pictures and humiliated in front of everybody as well as some really creepy videos as well. Let's have a look. Taking pics of us at the pool. Excuse me. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you deleted the photos of us off your phone. Show Just, us your camera roll. We're in the same situation. I don't know what you're saying. Just show us your camera roll that you didn't take photos of us. Yeah, those are our photos. Go, no, go back. That's your favorites. That's your favorites. Go back. I go just back. saw them. That's your favorites. All right. Can you please delete them? Yes, ma'am. No, delete them so we right can see. Right in front of our face. Okay. That's not it. Alright, he's like, you know, standing over me here. Like, because you took pictures oh, of us. Okay. Will you sit there, please? And, like, yeah, we can sit here, but I want to delete them. You delete the photos right. of us. But please sit next to me and not stand over me. It's intimidating. I'm sorry. I'm just making sure you're deleting them all. And from your recently deleted. Oh my god, I just saw a video of me, sir. Sorry? I, yeah, can you delete that? Yeah. Okay, so in this suburban area, this Karen is really triggered by a BLM sign and she tries to rip the sign out of the yard. The Karen is then confronted by the homeowner who has the sign out the front of his house and she tries to attack him. But this homeowner is equipped with a sprinkler in his hand and he hoses her down to stop her in her tracks from attacking him. Karen tries several times to get back on her feet and attack this gentleman, but she keeps getting hosed down and slips on the grass over and over, preventing her from being able to attack him. Because this Karen kept slipping over and couldn't attack this gentleman, let's have a look.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go home, girl. <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna lose that battle. <laughs> okay, now I think maybe we should call somebody. Do you think? Yeah. Please get off my property. Is it 911? Yeah, I like home Do you want me to call? This customer got into a disagreement with this employee and she refused to serve him. Things escalated quickly when his attitude changed real quick and he was demanding his pop from the employee who wasn't going to give it to him. Eventually, because he was holding up the line and refusing to leave, she found it was easier to just give him his pop and move on, only for him to throw it back in her face. Let's have a look. Can we please get our coke that we pay for? We just want our pop. Can we get our coke? Are we gonna hold up the line all night till we get our coke? I didn't say nothing to I heard you talking about our gift card. Hey, my man, I'm a girl. Man, can we can just get, get our coke? pop? My man, can I get my coke, get bro? Get my money back then. We just want our pop. Well, can I get my money back? Can I get my money back? Well, can I get my coke then? Okay. She's talking really negative. She's take that coke now. Okay, so this woman was shopping at a grocery store, but she wasn't following the store rules, and for this reason, she was not allowed to check out. She continued shopping regardless though, until another customer saw what she was doing, and got quite aggressive about it too. He ended up following her for some time, and it was then that she had a total embarrassing meltdown, begging for help from the other customers that she was previously inconveniencing. Let's have a look. Get away Put your me. mask on! I'm sorry, you can walk away from me right now, sir. Put your mask on! Get away from me. Put it please. on. Does it bother anybody else that she doesn't have to wear a mask that we all do? Just go away. Stay six feet away from me then. No. Get away from me. No. Do you need me to call security? Yeah. Get please on. get away I'm from me right you. now. No. You don't know why. You don't need to come near me. She has it on her hand. Get away from me. Walk away from me, sir. Please get away from me. You don't care. Leave me alone. She put, she, she Stay six feet away from me then. God, get out of here. I know who you voted for. Okay, so this gentleman had walked outside of this convenience store only to be exposed for his parking habits. He had parked diagonally across multiple lanes, which is illegal, and when he came back to his car, he was confronted for this. That's when he flicked the switch and got confrontational with the gentleman calling him out and asked him what he was going to do about it. The gentleman recording was not expecting this response. Let's have a look at what he has to say. Sir? Yeah. What gives you the right to park like that right there? What? What does that give you the right to park? What are you going to do about it? You got a problem? I mean, yeah, I just don't understand what my Jesus. Because somebody was pulling out in front of me and I was trying to pull in here and I was in a hurry. That's why I parked like that. Is that a problem for you? Is there any problem whatsoever? It is. Why? What is? Because you're a dumb son of a That's why. Excuse I'm me. sitting in my parking spot and you, I'm... Okay, so this Karen was at a skate park and she was harassing some skateboarders for no reason. That's when a random person came up behind her with a jug of water and poured it all over her head. You can only imagine how embarrassed she was, but it didn't end there. That's when this Karen chased after the gentleman who poured water over her head and slipped and fell down because she was wet. To make matters even worse, this Karen tried to attack the people at the skate park and the authorities were called and that's when they came over and detained and also arrested her. Let's have a look. Who says I need help? It looks I mean, like you I need mean, help. I mean, you call the cops. Like, no, 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 no. We're just on your way. Just put your hands on me. He's not tracking you. Ew. 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 Oh, 
Thank you. Take her away, boys. Take her away. Okay, so this Karen had just hit somebody else's car and she refuses to admit that she's the one in the wrong. The Karen calls up the authorities to try and get him arrested when the police officer shows up and verifies that she's actually the one who's in the wrong and has caused the damage. This Karen then goes ballistic in front of this officer claiming that she can break his arms and completely dies on the inside when she thought she could scream her way into convincing the officer that she's the one on the right when everybody there knows she's in the wrong. Let's have a look. You're wrong. Okay. I was out of Ubianic on where the Valvoline yeah, here, here's, here's what I can yeah, tell you. I'm not, I don't determine who's at fault. The okay, insurance I'm company just does that. I'm telling you where the Valvoline is. Okay. Is where I was at and I was going straight and he crossed over to get in the lane to turn up this way. Coming from Costco's. Okay. I was in the right lane going, I was going down the hill. You and he crossed mind. over and <laughs> hit the front end of my car. And then he goes, you hit me. You better pull over. <laughs> and that was his exact words. And he was being smart. And then I got it. I am sorry. Okay. I take some Balta. I'm ready to explode. And I did not take my camera. You sue me for what? I suggest you get in your vehicle, sit on. Don't touch me. Well, get off. Don't shut touch it off. me. Don't shut touch it me. off now. Vehicle. I do not like my to take it. Ma'am, listen to me. Sit in your vehicle. Tell him to shut it off now. Don't sit in your vehicle, he can't take you, okay? Your vehicle. I'm I do not this want this on YouTube. I don't want to tell him to shut it off now. Well, shut the camera shut off. Shut it off bit, okay? now. Okay, it's off. Get your, shut get it off okay. now. It's off. Shut it off. Put the guy in your car now. now. Listen. No. Get in your vehicle. I'm going to arrest you for creating a disturbance. Okay? Do you understand me? Okay, so this group of friends had a huge lunch together and when the bill arrived they actually got out of their chairs and literally ran away. This was a very expensive dine and dash which would have cost the restaurant a lot of money only they completely forgot about their car keys and accessories and had to do the walk of shame and return to the restaurant to retrieve their items. The items had been held by the servers though and they weren't going to return the items until the bill had been paid. That's when the other people noticed what was going on and shamed all of them and started humiliating them in front of everybody. These Karens ended up having to pay the bill and got banned from the restaurant. Let's have a look. Y'all went to the bathroom? Y'all went to the bathroom? Trying to go sit there? Y'all ready to pay these bills? Ha 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 Okay, so this Karen was actually disrespecting this other person when he was confronted for it. He immediately backed down when this other person got very aggressive and intimidating towards him and even got in his face demanding to fight him. You can obviously tell that this Karen wanted none of this and backed down immediately and was humiliated in front of his friends who were egging him on. Let's have a look. I'm going to go around the corner. You want to get to my corner? You want to go around the corner? I want to get to my corner. I will disrespect the staff. You want to get to my corner? You want to get to my corner? Do what around the corner? Anything you want, huh? Okay, what you want to do, huh? What you want to do? Bad, bad, I'm Jason Michael Sloan, fool. Jason Michael what? I'm Jason Michael Sloan. Sloan? That's my name. So you can shut up. Man, let's go party. Okay, so this gentleman left a car meet and basically he had no license plates on his car and for this reason he was pulled over. This gentleman then refused to provide any sort of identification or who he was, including his registration. That was enough to make the attitude on these police officers change real quick when they started belittling this male Karen and completely humiliating him and putting him in his place. The officers made sure that this Karen knew exactly who had the authority before tossing his identification back in his face. Let's have have a look because the parking garage called us in and this is not illegal this is illegal in this garage so how stop asking questions man i don't want that college liberal, okay Co where's your photo ID? i don't even go to college actually but okay you know the problem is when you guys can't be in your drag race i, I have nobody to do. i ain't smell my tires my tires all-wheel drive car can't even spin it 
I'm, I came here, I parked my car, and I looked at other cars, and now I'm driving out. So what crime have I committed? Trespassing. Okay. Trespassing. Keep it up. We'll take out of your car. You get arrested. We'll tow your car. Oh, and I'll see you in court. Yes. Shut up. Yeah. Your official warning. Yeah. You return to this garage. Be arrested for trespassing. If you do so with this group, it's trespass arrest. You want to come back on your own time? By yourself with this car. You're all set. Have a good night. Take care. See you later. Bro, my bro, really. Okay, so this gentleman noticed a car outside of his property late at night and decided to investigate the matter further. It ended up being a group of friends inside of a car who had their door opened and they were throwing all of the trash in their car on his front lawn. That's when he decided to open up their door and throw the trash back at them and confront them for it, only for them to get into a huge argument about it and then defend themselves as if they were in the right. Let's have a look. Why are you recording this? Yeah, why are you... Don't this is the trashiest thing I've ever seen. Can you guys pick up all the trash? I've ever seen. Close the door for you. Okay. Bye. Bye, you stupid. Dumb. Look at y'all embarrassing yourself. No, you're embarrassing yourself. Look at this. Low lives. Low lives. Get the f on you stupid white trash. Low lives. Look at this. Get the f in the car, you white coke. We did it for 400 years. Okay, so this Karen was confronted at a mall because she wasn't following the same rules as everybody else and people who had concerns about that decided to confront her for it. They were anything but polite about the situation and that's when this Karen backpedaled real quick, squealing for help from other people who are also the same people she was putting in danger. She ended up getting her away when some white knights came over and confronted the recordee who soon flipped the switch back on her when they realized what she was doing. Let's have a look. You might want to talk to the security. This lady here is in the mall without a mask. Yep, got you. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. You don't have a mask on. What is your... Who are you? I've I, I just come to the mall to pick okay, up. Okay, yeah, sure. And you are... What is your threat. name? What is your name? You're a threat. What is Get your name? Get out of the mall. No, leave her alone. She can't wear a mask. It is my business is right here. No, it's not leave Put your mask on. Put your mask on. This lady, guys, on YouTube, she's causing trouble. She yeah. has no mask on. It's okay, she shouldn't be okay. in the mall. She, she is exempt. She is no, exempt. she is not exempt. Yeah, Did yeah. you see the paper? She's a liar. Hold on. No, no. I don't care. Come with me. Come with me. Sir, everybody's complaining about her with no mask on. Everybody's got a mask. Sir, she's examination. Where? She told you. You believe what she says? Yeah, yeah. I don't. The police needs to come, bro. This is not fair. And you might get arrested, sir. No, come you will. Come yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm I leaving, but he's hunting okay, me. Okay, like, come with me. I want the police him. to come. Sir, let's stay there. Okay, yeah, so come with me. I'll show you the paper. Come with me. I'll show you the paper, but I need his okay, name. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this angry customer was waiting 45 minutes for her food and decided to take her anger out on the front counter employee who doesn't even make her food. After belittling and abusing the staff member and raising her voice at her for some time, the manager overheard the conversation and intervened. That's when this manager came over and completely put this Karen in her place while she defended her employees and told this angry customer to get out of there and refused her service. Let's have a look. Like a receipt with my name on it, my name yeah. is on this building, ma'am. Well, great, you don't, you're right to that. You talk to a 16 year old. 
okay, so this gentleman came outside back to his pickup truck when he noticed that his pickup was jacked and somebody was literally stealing his tire. This gentleman caught this thief in the act and confronted him and asked what he was doing. This thief then goes on to state that he was only borrowing the tire and was doing nothing wrong and was just using it to get home only for him to return later and hand it back. This story is not believable at all and even if he was going to return the tire, it would still inconvenience this random stranger who would still return to his pickup without a tire and have no idea what's going on. This thief was humiliated when the bystanders noticed what was happening and he was made to reverse everything he was doing and put the tire back on the truck. Let's have a look. What are you doing? How's it going, sir? What are you doing? Taking your tire. You're taking my tire? Yes, sir. Is that what you're doing? Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. And why is that? Uh, my tire is gone. Your tire is gone? So yes. you guys just take other people's tire? Uh, something like that. I don't think you're going to take it. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you you're not going to take it. Why is that? So you're going to pick it up and you're going to hold it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, that's no problem. You don't, peop you don't do that to people's no. car. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You don't do that to people's car. So I, I, I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know that I have police coming on the way. All right, cool. People don't do that. Go to other people's car and Why just take it. Why are you talking to me and trying to distract me from getting away, sir? You know, people I'm just telling you. That. People don't step people up like I'm that. I'm just telling you that right now. Yeah. You see this? Yeah. If I wanted to just steal your tire, yeah. I would put it in the shopping cart. Yeah, I think you just tried that though, right? I'm not trying to steal your tire. You're not trying to steal my tire. No. no. Okay. No. I was going to take my rim off my yeah. truck and then put it on your truck. Sure, sure, buddy. Borrow it and yeah. then bring it back. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what it is, huh? Yeah, that's, that's what, exactly that's what, it, what is. it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this Karen actually went live and started recording herself when she was driving, which is illegal and very dangerous. This Karen was caught for this and pulled over and fined, and this Karen is humiliated when she tries to talk her way out of it, but the police were not having it. This Karen failed to see the problem with what she was doing, and the only reason reason why she was doing something so reckless was so that she could spread her misinformation which really isn't a valid reason for putting other people's lives at risk let's have a look sorry what is your name agreements Kwan. the agreement yeah no i don't accept no. that i don't i'm a sovereign citizen and okay. i and i refuse to contract with that's you fine. That's fine. so uh, you Not think you, you can't give me a ticket for yes. having a hands-free device yeah. on my phone what's your badge number sir Yeah, you know, it's not illegal to have a hands-free device going while I'm driving. You realize that, you right? Tell the judge while you're on Facebook Live while driving. You know, you guys are disgusting human beings. You realize that? You're all disgusting. You're on live too, by the way. Enjoy your day. Okay, so this Karen was inside of this convenience store and she was being very difficult towards this employee. This Karen became very belligerent and also started abusing this employee before asking this gentleman what country he's from when he was quite literally from America just like this Karen. This employee doesn't take this lightly though and actually calls this Karen out before putting her in her place and even removing her from the store. That's right, she was literally banned from the store and not just that but as she was leaving and exiting the store she was actually booed out and humiliated by the other customers. Let's have a look. Yes. Just at 49 cents. You, 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 you heard me. You asked, I asked you what country you're from. That says exactly what it says. What did you say? It doesn't say that. Did you say what country I'm from? Yeah. I said that you can't understand that English written right up there. Miss, I have lived in America just like you did. Now get out my store. Boo. Get out my store. Get out my store. Boo. 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 You're the problem. Oh, yeah? Boo. It's a dollar twenty cents. Boo. You're white trash. White trash. White trash. Okay, so this lady found herself in a dispute with this officer. Now the officer refused to provide identification or establish who he was, and this only made this lady even angrier. This lady went on to signal that she was recording this gentleman, and that's when this police officer turned around and gave her something to record. Let's have a look. Okay. Public duties. Get over there. My public duty is go that way. Yeah, get over there. And you just want to arrest me. Yeah, get over there. Get over there. You're just, what's your name though? Hurry up! What's your get name? Get up! Over there! Stop shouting at me get and tell there. me your name, please. You want to get pepper sprayed? Get over there. Hurry up. What's his name, sir? 
What's his name? What's his name though? He wants to pepper spray my face. What is your name though? What's your name? Oh, you know you're- Okay, so this Karen was arguing with the staff and was demanding compensation. She was being really rude and inconveniencing everybody around her when another customer decided enough was enough and intervened. Things turned ugly real quick when this gentleman threatened her and said that he would smack the mask right off her unless she got her attitude together. That's when this Karen turned around and got into an argument with him as well and things got heated. This gentleman was so angry at this woman that he started abusing her in front of children and got very aggressive towards her and obviously threatening her several times. Times, all because she was inconveniencing him. Let's have a look. Okay, so this Karen had actually been caught shoplifting and was apprehended by the authorities. Now, this Karen was going to be detained because she refused to hand over any information, give the items back, or even put a mask on. The authorities had given her plenty of reasons and opportunities to do just that, but this Karen wanted to preach her rights and not listen to anybody around her, and I guess she thought she was above the law. This Karen was soon put in her place and humiliated when they placed her in custody. Now, this was a big problem for the Karen because she believed it was against her rights to be put under arrest and basically told these authorities that it would be illegal for them to touch her. This Karen was owned and humiliated in front of everybody when she was quite literally arrested and detained. Let's have a look. It's now her property. Payment's in her hand. Because he just gave it back. So we're requesting for the item. He came back. out of the store and gave me $5. <laughs> just threw them on a check stand. That's not how it works. You can't just yeah. throw money on a check stand. I'm going to walk out. Well, you can't just force a medical device on my face. That's mm -hmm. not how it works either. Thank you. This discussion is over. Let's go. You're unlawfully Stop. detaining me. Relax. Put Relax. your hands off my body. Relax. Put, ha, put, Relax. Your, Relax. put your Relax. hands off my body. Put your hands off my body. Put your hands off my body. Put your hands off. Off my body! Put your hands off my body. I'm being serious? You're being detained. You are not free to leave right now. I have done nothing wrong. It's an unlawful detainment. Okay, we were investigating a shoplifting. That's not considered shoplifting. Okay. That's what we're okay, so this Karen was on a flight and the person wasn't following the right rules to be able to board the flight and for this reason was removed from the aircraft. This Karen did not get off politely though and chaos ensued when there was a huge argument between just about everybody who wanted to give this Karen grief for holding up the flight. Let's have a look. Hey, 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 Hopefully you learn a lesson today. I just went to the bathroom, that's it. Sure, sure. I just went to the bathroom, that's all that would happen. You made us around, buddy. And you too. Do you want to know how many you are getting today? Okay, who's next? Go! 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 
Okay, so this male Karen had just left a food store when he had been caught shoplifting by an employee. Now the employee had followed him out and demanded to see what was inside of his backpack, which this male Karen obviously wasn't going to let him see. That's where this employee snatched his backpack and dropped all of his items across the floor, exposing and humiliating this thief for stealing a bunch of meats, chocolates, and snacks. This male Karen was humiliated in front of everybody and refused to calm down, and I guess out of embarrassment was making the situation even worse. This Karen then had to pick up his stolen items and make a getaway before the authorities showed up. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is one of the worst customers I have ever seen. Basically, he was such a bad customer that he was denied service, and as he was trying to get his gas and smokes, this only made him even angrier. He tried banging repeatedly for several minutes on the window, as well as abusing the employee and belittling her. This employee completely puts him in his place though, which only causes this male Karen to get even angrier and aggressive over the situation. This Karen refused to leave the premise until the authorities actually showed up and literally arrested him and took him away in handcuffs. Let's have a look. Okay, so this Karen was inside of a convenience store and raising hell because she was denied service for not wearing a mask. That's when she started throwing out some really derogatory terms and was caught and exposed for this and confronted. The Karen backpedaled pretty quickly stating that her husband is off color and even tried to offer this couple who she had offended $100 as compensation for the things that she had said. The couple are not interested in her money though and just want her to apologize, which this Karen doubles down and refuses to do as she doesn't believe she is in the wrong and then goes on a tirade about the virus and all of the things she thinks about it. Let's have a look. I'm white. Roll what does white I'm have to do with roll it? Roll out. I'm not. Roll out. I'm what does you being white have to do with it? Don't call the police, bro. I don't go none of that. What does you being white have to do with any of it? I just want to know that. That's what I want to know. What does you being white have to do with any of it? I'm tired of disrespectful you. No, it's because earlier you, you said something about get this for me, nigga. And you don't no, talk to a black man like yeah, that, no for real. No what? Yeah, you don't say I don't that. See, I don't see there being nothing wrong with okay. money. Okay. I'll give you a hundred dollars. To him, I'll it has you. a problem, and I you giving him a hundred dollars has nothing to do with it. You can't give some a black man a hundred dollars just for you to say the word. He doesn't want you to say that to him. So him as a man, respect that. That's my husband, and you walking up on him. Okay. You walking up okay. on him would have got you knocked the out okay so all he was saying was okay. don't be disrespectful you went okay. to your car and said you that okay. so he said make this the last time you come up here you don't okay. got to get out of your car and run up to him and say i'm white i'm white you being white ain't got 
to do with nothing. Okay, so during this car meet, a group of friends decided to look back at their car that they had parked earlier and realized that a group of random people were at their car and were moving the body parts and literally stealing their car parts for no reason. The group decided to run over and confront them who only played the victim card and refused to do any wrongdoing when they were literally still holding their car parts and were caught red-handed taking them apart as well. Let's have a look. You told me that I can really? have it. You don't really? touch someone. Hey, 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 you didn't it. touch the car. Yes, I, we literally have it on video. We didn't move. We've been here talking the she whole time. Did. Look at the video. She really? did. Look at, look at me. We were She's all sitting standing. We were all sitting right there. We literally right watched there. her tugging on it. Yeah, I asked Manny for that before he sold it to no, me. No, he didn't. It's on her car. Yeah. It's her no, property didn't. now. Okay, first off. First off. First you off, are not no, part of this. No. We're gonna so a weapon. Stop. Oh, he got a weapon. What are you gonna do with that? Do with that? Okay, what the f are you gonna do? Not your place. It's not it's your place. Not your place. And especially not yours to come out with a whatever the f that was. Some fing tough guy. Okay, first off. Scream at my woman. Or what you're gonna f hit me? What the f are you gonna do? Bring out that weapon? There's twenty bucks for you. You're done. You're done. This lady claimed that she was being harassed in the supermarket and called the authorities, only for the authorities to arrest her instead. Oh. We're gonna go downtown. Come on. Come on. This is all your fault. Look, you should have thought about that before going to Turkey, vegan lady. You are going to be so ordered. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.